Josh McDowell said if the resurrection claim was merely because of a geographical mistake, the Jewish authorities would have lost no time in producing the body from the proper tomb, thus effectively quenching for all time any rumored resurrection. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 106. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to His Word, His will, and His way. Our just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is Matthew chapter 20 verses 17 through 19 which reads, And Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples apart in the way and said unto them, Behold, we go to Jerusalem and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify him and the third day he shall rise again. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from E.M. Blakelock. He said, I claim to be a historian. My approach to classics is historical. And I tell you that the evidence for the life, the death, and the resurrection of Christ is better authenticated than most of the facts of ancient history. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the fine quotes of human beings, many who are secular. But of course, we don't uh, need that to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, his life, his death, his burial, his resurrection. We believe it by faith, and that is more solid than anyone's quote. And we thank you for what you've done for us. And we give you the glory, praise, and honor. Now, Lord, we pray that you'll forgive us of our sins of not living like that. Grant us your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit uh, to share the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, the death, burial, and resurrection with others so that they can come to know you as Savior as well. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray and for his sake. Amen. Dear friend of mine, the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. The way to joy. The way to peace. And the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you the way. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 
Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin, a punishment for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell because of sin and because you have never accepted the payment for sin. Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. For Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew 10.28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Also the Bible states in Revelation 21.8, But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone which is the second death now dear friend this is bad news but i have some good news for you jesus christ said in john 3:16, for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart to save your soul and to change your life, and he will do it. For the Bible says in Romans 10, 9, and 13, or Romans rather 10 9 through 13 the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart your heart that God have raised him from the dead thou you shalt be saved For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture saith whosoever Believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember that at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus and nothing else. God bless you.